In this video, we're going to use AdBS Managed Prometheus to monitor our infrastructure. First of all, we're going to use Terraform to create AdBS VPC and EKS cluster. Then we will deploy some exporters to collect metrics from Kubernetes nodes, such as kubestate metrics to collect cluster level metrics from the API server, CA advisor to collect CPU, memory, network usage and other metrics from containers running in Kubernetes. Also, we'll deploy node exporters to collect OS metrics exposed by the kernel on each node. Then to scrape all those collectors, we'll use Prometheus in agent mode. It disables some features as local alerts and queries, but it optimized for cloud native workloads and capable in real time of sending metrics to remote targets using remote write protocol. In our case, the target is AdBS Managed Prometheus. To visualize those metrics, you can use AdBS Managed Grafana as well, or you can use your own open source Grafana. We are also going to deploy it in Kubernetes cluster. We'll add Manage Prometheus as a data source and import a few dashboards. Finally, I'll show you how to scrape not only targets within Kubernetes, but also standalone EC2 instances by using AWS labels to discover targets dynamically. Let's get started. First, let's quickly go over Terraform code. Here we declare AdBS provider and specify version constraints. Next, we define AdBS VPC and provide a seeder block along with a name equal to the main tag, Internet Getaway, to grant internet access to EC2 instances. Then we create four subnets in two availability zones two private and two public subnets. We also assign some special tags for EKS to properly place load balancers. Not getaway to provide internet access within private subnets. We must put it to the public subnet with the internet getaway as a default route. Then we create two route tables, one for private subnets with a default route to the not getaway and a public route table with the internet getaway as a default route. We also need to associate those routes with subnets. Finally, the EKS cluster. We need to create IAM role for the cluster and bind it with the Amazon EKS cluster policy. Under VPC config, you need to specify subnets. I use private subnets to provision Kubernetes nodes and public subnets to expose services from Kubernetes to the internet by using load balancers. Then the node pool for the EKS. It also requires some default IAM roles and policies. We need to attach at least three managed IAM policies. For the node group, let's call it private nodes and place them in the private subnets. Now to grant access to containers running in Kubernetes to AdBS services such as managed Prometheus, we need to create OpenID Connect provider. Next, we create managed Prometheus workspace. Optionally, we can create a CloudWatch log group, but typically I find it not very useful. Now here, pay attention. We need to create IAM role for the Prometheus agent that will deploy to the EKS cluster. That agent needs access to AdBS managed Prometheus to write metrics. I'll deploy Prometheus agent to the monitoring namespace and create a Kubernetes Prometheus service account. That is binding between Kubernetes Airbox system and AdBS IAM. Next, we create IAM role that Kubernetes pod will use with a single policy remote write. And we need to attach the IAM policy to the IAM role. Optionally, if you plan to scrape any targets outside of Kubernetes, such as standalone EC2 instances, you need to add Amazon EC2 read-only access policy. This will allow the Prometheus agent to query AdBS API to get labels of each each EC2 instance, and if the label such as node exporter equal to true exists, Prometheus automatically starts scraping it. I'll show you how to configure Prometheus later in this tutorial. Since we're going to deploy Grafana to EKS, we also need to grant access to Prometheus to add it as a data source. Here we attach Amazon Prometheus query access policy to the Grafana service account. Finally, to demonstrate that Prometheus can scrape other targets not only in Kubernetes, I'll create EC2 instance. For that, we need a security group. You need at least to allow access to port 9100 from the EKS cluster where we have the Prometheus agent. I'll use user data to automatically install node exporter when this VM boots up. Make sure that you create a DevOps key pair before running Terraform or you can even remove it since you're not going to SSH to that node anyway. Now initialize Terraform and run Terraform apply to create all those objects. 
we have two EC2 instances without tags that belong to EKS and my app EC2 that we're going to scrape. In Prometheus config, we create a rule to discover any EC2 with a node exporter tag equal to true. Now let's go to manage Prometheus. You have two endpoints, one that we're going to use to write metrics and another in Grafana to query Prometheus to create dashboards. Prometheus operator also became a standard to deploy Prometheus instances to Kubernetes. First, you need to create all custom resource definitions, even if you're not planning to use all of them, such as Thanos. There is also a bug policy for CRUD. Before you can access that cluster, after you created with Terraform, you need to update the Kubernetes context with the AWS EKS command. Now create custom resources. You need to use create instead of apply due to the size of some CRUDs. Then Prometheus operator itself. We're going to create a monitoring namespace. Pay attention to the label. We'll instruct Prometheus to discover service monitors only in the Kubernetes namespace that contain monitoring equal to the Prometheus agent label. Then we have a standard set of YAML files to create cluster role, cluster role binding, deployment, service and service monitor to add the Prometheus operator as a target. You can use apply to deploy operator. Now the agent. To use IAM roles for service accounts, we need to bind the Kubernetes service account with the IAM role using this annotation. This role we created with Terraform. Don't forget to update the account number to yours. For Prometheus to discover internal targets, we also need to create a cluster role. As I mentioned, if you plan to add target to the Prometheus that is outside of Kubernetes, you need to create additional scraping config. Here, for example, we'll scan AWS for node exporter tags and add them to Prometheus. You would need to update the region if you use a different one. Next is the Prometheus object itself. Here we specify the version and service account. Then each service monitor would need a label component equal to Prometheus agent as well as a namespace where you create those service monitors must have monitoring equal to the Prometheus label, then some resources. Since we use Prometheus in agent mode, it does not require as many resources as a regular Prometheus. Here to send metrics from this agent in real time to manage Prometheus, we need to update the URL. You can grab it from the console, or even if you scroll down, you will see the full config. To enable agent mode, we need to override some default arguments and enable that feature. To scrape targets outside Kubernetes, add additional scrape configs that point to your configuration. Lastly, some generic affinity and port anti-affinity. Let's deploy the agent. Next is the node exporter, which collects hardware metrics exposed by the kernel. We deploy it as a daemon set. When you create a service monitor, make sure to include a label component equal to Prometheus agent. Then CA advisor to get CPU, memory, network metrics from each pod. and the cube state metrics that provides a cluster level metrics such as pod pending, eviction and many others. The only difference here is that we deploy it as a deployment and not a daemon set. Let's go ahead and apply all those components to Kubernetes. The first is the node exporter, then CA advisor and cube state metrics. Let's make sure that all the pods are running. I would also suggest checking Prometheus logs to see if you have any errors related to access to AWS API. Since we don't have the ingress, let's expose Prometheus using port forwarding. Then you can access Prometheus on localhost 9090. Let's see all the targets. 
The first EC2 node exporter job is used to scrape targets outside of EKS. You can see that it has a single target which is our EC2 instance. Then we have other jobs related to monitoring components we have previously deployed. Finally, let's deploy Grafana. We also need to bind it service account to IAM to get access to manage Prometheus. This role we already created earlier with Terraform. Here, don't forget to update the account number. Just go to the AdBS I am console and copy the IRN from there. Now the secret for the default admin user is encoded in base64. To encode any string to base64, you can use echo and pipe it to the base64 tool. Don't forget to use dash n flag to remove a new line from the secret. Let's do the same thing for the username. Then the Grafana config. I enable Prometheus metrics here as well. Now the data source. This is config to add manage Prometheus. You need to replace this URL with yours. You can also get it from the console. Remember to update the region. Also, you need to remove API v1 query from the URL. It's not enough. We must also add environment variables to the deployment. Here we mount some dashboards and configs to the Grafana pod. To add manage Prometheus to Grafana, you must add these two environment variables. Then the standard service and service monitor. I also included a couple of dashboards. The first one is for CA Advisor and the second one is for Cube State Metrics. You can find open source dashboards at grafana.com or create your own. To apply Grafana, make sure to use dash R to create config maps with dashboards. Let's also port forward Grafana. The default username is admin and the password is devops123 unless you have changed it in the secret file. In case you want to add manage Prometheus manually, you just need to toggle sig v4 and update the region in the details. In this dashboard, you can monitor memory and CPU usage per pod. In the cube state metrics dashboard, you have the cluster wide metrics, including some specific for deployment, stateful set, and other Kubernetes objects. Finally, let's import the node exporter open source dashboard. Update the folder and specify the data source. This job targets EC2 instances outside of Kubernetes. If you want to check Kubernetes nodes, switch to node exporter job. In the next video, I'll show you how to send alerts from the managed Prometheus to Slack, email and possibly pager duty. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.